Alright, it's Henry again, and I decided to make a sixth work in progress video for Virgo 2 after all. Uh, just going to show off some resin casting, and then I'll be painting the kit. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I think this resin is ready. And now we pour. Alright, so now that the resin has had time to cure, we can remove these rubber bands and take a look at the part we've cast. The first part I cast was the beam rifle. Open this up, and there we go. Don't see any bubbles in that at all. I think this was a really really successful recast of the beam rifle. Pull this out. Quite a bit of flash on that. <laughs> Actually a lot of flash, but no bubbles. So definitely a good thing. I'd rather have flash than bubbles. Alright, actually here is the original over here. So there you go. Just gotta do a little bit of cleanup and I will have two exact beam rifles together. Alright, so I've just poured the resin for the shoulder armor. Now I can take this mold apart and see how it turned out. Now you might notice I did the uh, resin flow channels a little different on this one. I arranged the shoulder armor in such a way that I could pour the resin from this side of the mold rather than this side, which is the side I usually pour it on. I just think it, it will eliminate air bubbles better if I poured it from the top. I just took a power drill and drilled a hole through there after the mold was complete. So let's see how it turned out. This side looks really, really good. It's got a few small bubbles right there in the corners, but no major bubbles at all. And since air rises to the top, there shouldn't be any bubbles on the bottom side of the shoulder armor. Pop this guy out of here. There we go. And oh, there's a small little bubble on the thruster there. So some three small, tiny little bubbles, but overall, I think a very, very nice recast of the shoulder arm. In fact, here's the original right here. And now I've got two. Resin version looks a lot cleaner than the original. All right, and the last two parts I had to make casts of were, of course, the backpack and the hatch that goes on the backpack. And let's see how they turned out. Now this backpack unit is the largest part I've ever attempted to recast uh, as of this recording. So let's see how I did. And there we go. So far, looks pretty good. I don't see any uh, serious flaws. Let's see if we can pull it out of here. Ooh, got a little bit of flash there, but that's okay. This is a very, very large piece of resin. Let's see. I could just pull that out.
And there we go. Uh, actually, I'm not even sure if that's a bubble. I think that's just a little discoloration. But, as you can see, I had I just actually just used some modeling clay to plug that up on the original. But overall, I am really, really happy with this. Again, a little bit of flash and cleanup I'll have to do, but not too bad at all. In fact, let me get the original. There it is. And now I have two backpack units for Virgo 2. And the hatch is right here. It looks like it turned out pretty well. Doesn't want to come out. Alright, there we go, come on. There. Finally got it off. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice as well. So, that does it for all of the resin casting on Virgo 2. Now I'm ready to start painting. One thing I do want to show you before I start painting is the uh, beam rifle going inside the resin backpack. A lot of you were worried about uh, me drilling out the hole for the beam rifle in there. Basically, I just took my power drill and used the largest drill bit I had and drilled a hole way down inside there and used the Dremel to kind of make a little bit more room in there for the sight and the beam rifle will fit in just fine. So both will be able to accommodate their beam rifles.
right, so I have done a little bit of painting, and uh, I'm not done with Virgo 2 yet, uh, but this is where I'm at as of today. So as you can see, I've done some painting. I've already started masking, you know, got to mask off and paint the inside of those little planet defensor cavities gray, paint the underside of the uh, waist section. Got a little bit more masking to do on these parts, bottom of the feet, for example, bottom of the uh, side skirts. And I plan to be done painting tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be painting all the stuff that I'm masking here, as well as uh, these parts, the basically all the gray parts, and then the planet defensors. That's all I've got left to paint, and I'll be done. So hopefully I'll, in fact, I, I know I'm going to be done painting t by tomorrow. And uh, I'm thinking I can do panel lines, decals, and top coat on Sunday. Uh, I re unless something goes wrong, which I really hope it doesn't, I don't see any reason why I couldn't get panel lines, decals, and top coat all done on Sunday, since I'll have all day to do them. Uh, one thing I do want to show you is that the metal thrusters I got for Virgo 2's backpack arrived. See if I can get those to focus. There we go. They're pretty small, flat thrusters. There are three different pieces. You've got this uh, little pin part that goes in the back. And you've got the outside thruster bell and the inside thruster bell. I'm not leaving these bare metal because I just can't stand the way metal thrusters look when they're unpainted on a kit. Uh, these I'm going to be painting a dark, dark gunmetal. The inside I think I'm going to paint red. And uh, I think I am going to leave this little center part unpainted. Just that little part right in the middle. God, that's really not focusing. Uh, anyway, so yeah, those will be dark gunmetal and red mostly. And the way I'm, I'm, I'm putting them in here isn't really all that complicated. I've just drilled a little hole and they're going to be in there at an angle like so. And then there's just enough room for these to fit on top and it'll have the little hand that can open up and show those off. So nothing really fancy for the uh, metal thrusters other than the fact that they're made out of metal. Uh, originally I had painted these uh, Virgo 2 parts uh, a little bit closer to this color. Uh, I painted them kind of a greenish color because when I I think back about Gundam Wing and I just watched Gundam Wing not too long ago, a couple months ago, uh, I always remember Virgo 2 being that kind of greenish uh, tan color. And I painted them up in a greenish tan color and a couple days later I got to thinking that it's just wasn't liking it all that much. So I went back and repainted the parts uh, more towards the tan side. They've still got a hint of green in them but they're a lot more towards the tan side now and I, I'm, I'm much happier with that color scheme the backpack units I left uh, pretty much a little bit greenish they're much lighter well maybe not much lighter but uh, backpack units are supposed to be lighter than the rest of the armor so that's them and uh, overall I'm happy with the paint job so far as you can see I've done a little bit of highlighting on these I didn't go too crazy with the highlighting and the pre-shading and all that. And then, like I said, uh, tomorrow I'll be painting the beam cannon, beam rifles, gray, hands gray. And then the planet defensors are kind of a dark greenish gray color. One more thing I do want to show you is the energy shield. I am doing another one, like I did for my first Virgo. Although, since there are eight planet defensors, this one is quite a bit larger. I did the same exact concept a sheet of clear plastic hot glue to make kind of electricity looking stuff and then I've got uh, little brass pins all around the edge of it uh, for the planet defensers to mount on and I've got this little piece of an action base right there so it'll be able to mount onto the action base like the energy shield for Virgo 1 did I think I'm gonna go back and work on these edges these edges are a little bit too obvious for me I think I'm gonna go with a hobby knife and kind of make those kind of wiggly and then of course I'll be airbrushing uh, around the edge with green paint or it was pink on the first Virgo I'll be doing green for Virgo too so that about does it that's where I'm at uh, 
Virgo 2 is about two days away from being finished. So the next time you see this kit, it will be complete. Well, actually, no, scratch that. The next time you'll see it will be the review in which I recorded the first, like, minute and a half of the review of the kit assembled but unpainted. But after that, then you'll see the kit uh, reviewed. Either way, my next video that I upload will be Virgo 2's review. So, that about does it for this work in progress video, and with that, I'll see you guys next time.